Hello everybody and welcome back to this new episode of Textile with Alberto. In the last episode we have talked about twisting and plying. In this episode, on the other hand, we will see practically what twisting is. I have some samples over here, as you can see. Um, for example, I have here a flux yarn cone, I have polyamide with elastan, moulinier yarns, metallized fibers, wool, I have some 140 metric numbers, 147 cotton and so on. So we will see through the linen tester that I have over here how the twisting is performed. Remember guys that the preparation of the yarn is essential before the weaving and the knitting process. But anyway, let's see the yarns together. The first yarn is a 140 metric number and it's flax. As you can see, if I try to separate the plies, I cannot separate them, because it's a single ply. If you need to better understand the yarn counts, I will leave my video that I made regarding direct and indirect system below the video. The second yarn is a 270, and it's cotton. Two means that this yarn is made by two yards, so two plies of seven yarn count. That together is a 35. 27 is, of course, and E, which is the cotton number. As you can see here, I can separate the two plies of the cotton. The third yarn is a 64. It's still cotton, but in this case we have four plies. Four plies of 60. And the finish, the final yarn count, is 15. As you can see through the linen tester, there are four plies that comes out. The process is very simple. We have to rotate the yarn and pull. As I stated in a previous video, twisting is performed to give better mechanical properties to the yarn but also for visual effects, like in this case, metallized fiber. I can separate the plies and I can separate the lacquering, the metal, from the core yarn. Also here regarding Moulinet yarns, as you can see Moulinet yarns are practically two yarns of different colors twisted together to give this wonderful visual effect. Last but not least, I have a polyamide with elastan yarn. As you can see here, this is very difficult to tear apart. It's very elastic. It's cool because it, you can clearly see in this yarn the coiled polyamide on the elastan. If you don't know anything about elastan covering, I will leave my video that I made a couple of weeks ago below. Can I twist yarns of different sizes together? Yes, of course you can, guys. You have to consider that there are a number of different yarns outside. There are, for example, boucle, sequins, elastic yarns, and so on. Can I twist silk together with cotton, flax, or elastan? Yes, but keep in mind, guys, that the balance of the yarns is very important. If you, for example, spin a yarn with an S torsion, an S twisting, you have to balance this yarn with another yarn of Z in order to avoid some rotation of the fabric after all. That's it for today guys, I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video, you will find my details below and yeah, if you need anything I am at disposal naturally, if you need some consultancy you will find my email along with Reddit and so on. That's all for today, so as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.